All right. Let me explain the stress state in a simple way. Most of the uh, solid mechanics problems, including these two examples that I have shown here, are in a state of quasi-static equilibrium, which means the net force and the net moment are zero. It also implies one more important thing, which is any subpart will be in equilibrium, which means, say, if I take uh, two subparts, both are of different shapes, and you isolate them along with the uh, forces and moments, each of these subparts will be in equilibrium. Let's exploit this to obtain the state of stress. And this is the 2D representation of a chalk loaded in tension. And if I do an imaginary cut here, and let's analyze the top portion of this. And for this to be in equilibrium, we need a force at the bottom face. And this force F could be considered as the internal resistance offered by the entire cross section to the external load. Let's go a bit further and uh, consider the internal resistance of each and every point in the cross section and that's where we get the notion of stress and that would be like in this case it will be uh, f by a and see that we have uh, gone from force to stress in this case and let's make a cut here and again do the same thing we'll subject that to equilibrium we'll get the stresses on both faces and let me again do a two vertical cuts here and we'll get the uh, sub part which is also in equilibrium and these two faces doesn't have any stresses right so could you explain why and try to do this till I reach a point which I'll represent it as a small square, um, say of, of the order of 10 power minus 6 meters. There is a significance for this number. If you just happen to know that, just comment it out. And this is what we obtain for a point. So we started from the force equilibrium of a structure and all the way we went up to the stress equilibrium of a single point. And this is what we call as a stress state. Let me uh, loosely define the stress state. It will be the free body diagram in terms of stresses at a point. And a stress state gives the nature and magnitude of stresses at a point. So for a 3D case, a point could be represented as a cube. And a generalized stress state will, will look like this the uh, stress components that are perpendicular to the uh, plane are known as the uh, normal stresses and whatever the parallel uh, to the plane are known as the uh, shear stresses.